This is the IA Podcast, where four out of five dentists recommend you listen to a different podcast. Today on the podcast, we'll be talking about all the good news. Overwatch has a release date. Bear Simulator drama. Wait, Fable Legends canceled? Lionhead Studios is closing? That's not good news. Oh, man. Um, yeah, stick around to, to, to find out. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the IA Podcast. Today is Friday, March the 11th, 2016. Our very first episode. Awesome. My name is Brian. Today I am joined by some really awesome, I almost said awful people, awesome people from our community. Both are <laughs> They are kind of <laughs> accurate, actually. They're awfully awesome. Um, or awesomely awful. Whichever one you choose. I have uh, Schrodinger's cat right here. Hey. Yeah. And I have Dude Run. <laughs> and we have just our... Sound <laughs> just sound effects. It's like whatever you can find. And we have our silent partner, Mel slash Otacon. Mel Battle. No, <laughs> Mel's our battle. Otacon for this mission. Metal Battle. Did you just say Eroticon? You don't think that's what we're going for, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I mean, if that's the way this is heading towards, then I mean, I am totally down for that. Um, so, I mean, if you're joining us, you know, now I'm saying like it's the first episode and you guys are a little confused. It's really because like the last episode you might have heard is really the test episode. So now we're actually doing the real thing. So He's really just lying to you. Just to and you also, yeah, I am kind of a pathological liar, too. There's never been a previous episode. This is all new. Um, but yeah, I mean, guys, let me know. What have you guys been up to since the last time we never podcasted? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, um, crying about how much studying and homework I have to do right now. Oh yes, the video games of actual life and homework. How I don't don't miss that at all. <laughs> Boss battle exam number two coming up in a few days. Oh my god, that sounds like the Prepare honestly your attacks. And you know, it's like <laughs> it's like you know the the worst games ever are the one where you have like a really tough bus boss battle and then right after you're done that it's like you have a second boss battle right after it it's like you have like two exams in one day that is pretty much it that is the definition of just the worst time ever it's like final i boss don't have level. enough phoenix downs <laughs> <laughs> oh man so I how much longer how Why? much longer do you have to deal with that uh the rest of my life let's be oh, honest oh well that's that's fun honestly yeah that's um <laughs> that sounds like a blast. I so, I mean, doomed myself to a horrible <laughs> reality. So apart from that, I mean, there hasn't really been any video games in your life or anything like that? I've I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain and Rocket League again. Awesome. And I, I did briefly load up Guild Wars 2, if only really to check my inventory and send <laughs> stuff to somebody else. <laughs> that became a massive cluster of who the fuck owes who what items in this weird chain of we weren't supposed to be exchanging items to begin with for this very reason. <laughs> yeah. And because you know how that didn't make any sense to you? It didn't make any sense to me either, and that's why it was confusing <laughs> when I had to log in to do it. Well, there you go. That just sounds like an awesome time. So, uh, yeah, I've I've definitely done that a couple of times in World of Warcraft as well. Let me tell you, man, I kind of know what you're feeling. Not it was really, really depressing, though, because I was just in one of the hub cities and I'm running on my computer that's like Frankenstein between my good new computer and my old gaming computer. And one of the old parts is the graphics card. And I'm sitting there in a hub city with nothing exciting going on, and I can't even maintain over 30 frames per second. It's chugging away at like 15, 20 oh, tops. And I'm just looking at my inventory. I'm like, I can't even play this game right now. This is depressing. Wow. And I went even... to like, well, wait, I don't remember if I turned all the settings down or not. So I'll just go turn the set. Oh, no, they're they're all low already. They're they're at like the lowest settings. That well, sounds like shit, even so worse than that. like my old computer. Wow. That's... Well, I mean, 
that graphics card that that was a card I got used about ten years ago, and uh-huh. I think it's been so. I think from manufacturer date, it's like almost thirteen years old now. That so. is insane. The wow. fact that it runs the game at all is actually pretty impressive. It actually is impressive. You are basically running a relic at this point, as far as like PC gaming goes. So uh, it, she's a champ. Now, awesome. if I could just find time among my horrible <laughs> studying and all of that to actually get my old power supply arm made so that I can have all of my good parts again, we'll be getting somewhere. That's awesome. And uh, but, how about. Yes. More games. Enough yes. about my whining. <laughs> How about you, dude, Ren? What have you been playing? I've been mostly just playing the stuff I've been doing for YouTube. Uh, most recently, Hotful Boyfriend. I've been dating a lot of birds. All the oh, birds. birds. All, the, all of them. Every last one of them. <laughs> no, literally all of the birds. Yeah, yeah. every <laughs> single bird in the world. <laughs> my God, that's a lot of dating, you I have whore. a bird brothel. Yeah. <laughs> I work at a brothel with a <laughs> cross-dressing bird. Uh, oh, my. I got all their numbers. Uh, and I also just picked up a game called Lie Eat. It's an RPG Maker game about a dragon who's a little girl who eats lies. And it's, I really don't know how else to describe it. It's, that got people tell really lies and they, those lies really get fast. personified into like <laughs> cute little things that this dragon girl eats. I know because so, at first huh. when you said when you said like eat like lie eats, at first I thought it was like about like eat. somebody whatever eat lies yeah. eat whatever. I yeah. thought it was about somebody that was like a glutton that would just eat all the time and then lie about it, you know. So it's like <laughs> hey, it's like someone would be like hey, where'd my fried chicken go? And she'd be like blah blah blah, you know, like one of those people. <laughs> And then before you know it, she's like freaking huge. And then you have to like somehow there's some kind of game mechanics involved with that. And it's like, oh, my God, must eat, but must lie as well. And it's like, you got to work off the weight to make the lie work. (laughs) Exactly. I just thought it was some sort of strange proper noun that I'm like, all right, well, this is clearly from another country because I have no (laughs) idea what the fuck that word is. (laughs) Oh, man, that reminds me of this game. Um. Oh man, what was that? Um, the uh, robot something arm commando? Anybody? No. I mean, no. there's robot no. roller disco derby dodgeball. But... No, this was like Nintendo era, and then there was like the whole uh, bionic commando. That's the one. And then oh, there was like this one part in it where it's like, that. oh, something about instead of saying falling asleep, I feel asleep or something like that. And it's like you're totally yeah, that's totally something that was lost in translation. So one of those type of things, you know, Dang. where it's made in a different country and they set us up the bomb. Exactly. <laughs> what? Uh, good times. And um, so, OK, so what are you exactly are you doing in this game? Uh, why? Uh, for the first part, anyway, I mm. know there's you're following this guy around who's like an information salesman, kind of that kind of line of work. Uh-huh. Going to different towns, it's doing some shady shit, and the dragon girl's just kind of following him around. Wow. I don't really know yet. I haven't gotten far in. So is it sort of like a platformer, or is it like... It's a... an RPG. Okay, okay, so like top-down view type of thing? Like, yeah. uh, what kind of RPG? Yeah, that kind of thing? Okay, uh, awesome. Yeah, turn-based battle, kind of nice. story-based. And you said you're playing this on your YouTube channel, so I mean, if we really, yes. if anybody wants to actually see this in action they should go to your youtube channel yes yes they should awesome yes they should uh anything else that you've been playing besides those two games or is that pretty much it uh i finished super hot if that's anything awesome. i was actually gonna ask how how far you've gotten on that because that i i binged I like one of the nights where we were all being quiet in team speak it was because for an hour i had been binging on super hot from you <laughs> <laughs> oh, i was really? just quietly watching super hot and having to sort out like did dude say something in TeamSpeak, or did he just say it in his stream? Not entirely sure. Yeah, I just called you out from the video. <laughs> Pretty much. Maybe you should start doing that as a joke. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, are you watching right now? Are you sure? <laughs> I had, like, the craziest experience once watching uh, one of the zero punctuation videos. 
it was really creepy. Like I was just like binge watching a lot of them. And then yeah, at one point, yeah, usually. Right. Yeah. So uh, what happened was I kind of like, you know, after a couple of episodes, I was kind of like, you know, wandering away and just like kind of zoning out. And then all of a sudden I hear like I, I hear Yahtzee just like be like, you know, like he claps and then is like, hey, pay attention. And I was just like, what? Like, honestly, like that totally that moment, I was like freaking out. So it. It's, it could be one of those knows, things. Man. It's like the computer knows. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, good times. You should totally do that, dude. Just freak the hell out of Shro. Oh hell yeah! For all the good times. Well, weren't for a long time. Weren't weren't you uh, also recognizing me as a Patreon donor as just somebody? <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't, <laughs> that was uh, also rather amusing. The Patreon wasn't really giving me the all the names of the people who are donating and it still doesn't list you as one of the donators so i had to go like behind the scenes to find out just who was donating oh it, yeah your I email came up name, so, so yeah. yeah what I the fuck bro? or as mel says you know he is anonymous people can donate yeah. as anonymous that's true yeah our little autocon um, yeah, so I mean, I mean, other than what we never talked about last week, the only thing that I've been playing has been Mad Max, and I played a little bit of Diablo 3, you know, just trying to get into the season, what are we at now? I think it's season 5? Anyways, I'm making progress on that, you know, I'm just decided to, like, spend a couple of hours doing that, and it's Diablo 3, you know, so we've all kind of been there if you've played Diablo already. It's, uh, it's same old, same old, but... That's really the only thing I've been playing as far as like games this week. So yeah, not not really nothing new on my part. But I mean, um, I, yes. Oh, I think it was a Jagger was mentioning. I think it was Path of Exile that um they had some new. Yeah, coin I think it was like a like um I think it was an expansion or something that they released. I wasn't sure if it was a path or um, Diablo three. So no, it was a it. It, it was in Path of Exiles. Yes, got it. Okay. Yeah, I still need to check that out because a lot of people are saying some pretty good things about it. So, Path of Exiles was pretty fun for you know the couple of months that I played it. So, definitely something I have to go back and look at. And, uh, I mean, you know, for the most part, I play a couple of Blizzard games here and there and all that. And it's fun, you know. Uh, but, you know, if anybody else wants to suggest a game, then definitely go for it, you know, Mel. So, um, other than that, you know, that's all I've been playing. But apparently Mel says Dragon Age Inquisition. So she's that's what she's been playing. And, oh, um, that would be a big one, yeah. That oh, is, yeah. from what I heard, that is a big game, yeah. And I'm I would say actually, that would keep you busy for a few months, I think, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. She says she is currently mourning over a researcher. Over a Q -Q. researcher, oh yeah. I'm not too sure what she's talking about because I haven't actually played that game. I played like the Dragon Age Origins, and I haven't even beat that one yet. But I mean, the fact that like you can make choices starting from the beginning, and it'll affect things into dragon age inquisition which is the last game i believe that is currently out as part of the original trilogy that is pretty crazy yo that is so cray yeah so apparently so mel you played a uh, straight to inquisition there you go yes oh, I, 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 and okay. i have heard yes mel is right it is noob friendly i have heard about that for from a lot of people as well um so Let's see what is going on lately in the news, guys. Do we? I heard a little bit of a bear simulator drama happening. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? Uh, apparently PewDiePie is. I don't think I need to explain who the fuck he is. Um, uh, he played Bear Simulator and didn't like it. And apparently, things he said that were negative were taken by. Maybe some like small crazy side of his fandom, which I guess isn't small technically. Anyway, I mean, how many subscribers does nuts. he have? He's got like... forty fucking million. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, I like to think that any a very a percentage of a percentage, a percentage of one percent of any fan base is going to be crazy. 
that's crazy. like around one percent of his fan base is four hundred thousand people. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot insane. of crazy people. <laughs> that is a lot of crazy people. <laughs> it's like even if that's a fraction of that, that's still fucking insane. Yeah, so. and I mean the thing is, like, I saw the video, and it's like, honestly, yeah, the game looks really janky as hell. Uh, but I mean, isn't it like from a small developer and isn't it on Steam as a alpha, one of those, you know, tribe, like not yet completed type of games? I think it was as... advertised as complete. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, honestly, because I know, yeah, like... yeah, I know they were planning on doing an update or the guy was planning on updating that game. Uh, and he still yeah. is going to do that regardless of all this drama. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a little harsh of PewDiePie. Like, he basically was trying to get a refund on it in the video. Yeah, during, yeah. And then he flipped off the developers, like, at the very end of the video. It's like, wow, that that's um, that's a little harsh, you know. But hey, you know what? The guy does it for entertainment. He's got to, you know, you got to do what you got to do in order and he to... Did, um, he did admit to over-exaggerating his reaction to it. Well, see, that's the thing, you know, like when you're doing YouTube stuff and, you know, anything entertainment wise, like, yes, you do have to overreact in order to grab people's attention. So, I mean, I kind of get it. But at the same time, I'm a little harsh, but um, yeah. but yeah, so apparently now the developer wants to stop um, all development on that game. And he's just kind of calling it quits. He's taking his one hundred thousand uh, dollars Kickstarter money and just going home. Which, I don't uh, think that's allowed uh, by yeah. any means. Like, I, right? But I, I you could honestly probably get kicked out of that. I honestly see that's the thing. Like, I don't know what happens in these kind of situations. Is this is this a really bad scene right now? And um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll we'll kind of know what happens. But as Mel says, you know, the internet is uncharted territory. So. All of this new stuff that's happening, you know, it's like it's one of those things like we're just going to have to roll with the punches and see what happens. There are many loopholes. That is right. Yes. Um, and then a little bit of good news, though. We do have Overwatch now has a release date, which is awesome for anyone that's looking to play Overwatch. So if you are one of the people that pre-bought the game already then you have access to the open beta starting may 3rd and the overwatch actual release date will be may 24th Woo! which i mean i i honestly don't get the point of the open beta when you have to purchase it anyways and it's not a free-to-play game so either way you're what's the point of a release date if it's you know i give people early access free advertising basically pretty much yeah. right that's what it would be and it does look like a really fun game. Uh, it, they have, you know, the typical kind of game modes where they have capture points, they have payload, they have control mode. So if you're familiar with basically any type of uh, team-based shooters or multiplayer shooters, then <coughs> you kind of... Team Fortress. Team Fortress 2, there you go. I wanted to mention that, but I also want it to be a little bit more broad. <laughs> um broad and uh you can choose from different characters so they have you know offense defense tank and support i know totally like it's a lot like tf2 it sounds like you know but hey it's it looks really cool though i am definitely going to be one of those people that is definitely going to want to try to play this game when it comes out same here yeah 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 i was like, i don't know if i'll try to get into the betas or not because that'll still probably be around um, you know, final exam time and everything, and I'll probably be busy. But we'll see how the reviews come out on it, and that'll probably dictate how quickly I try to buy it, because, you know, a lot of us are old TF2 players, and a lot of people are trying to hail it as the new TF2. So, so. it really, yeah, it really would be fun to see exactly how this game turns out. I like the trailer. I'm broke as fuck, so I can't buy the game yet. Well, there you go. So that... You know what that means then? It Send means dude money. Anybody, yes, anybody who's <laughs> listening right now, go watch dude's video and go help him out on Patreon. Remember, we should do turn a, your ad money. blocker off because God knows you all have one. <laughs> yeah, ad uh, block is bad for YouTubers. Don't don't use it on YouTube. Thank you. Dude, unless you start... don't like the one you're watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you watch one religiously, turn off ad blocker for that person alone. There you go. It doesn't have to be me. 
There you go. You know what? There's whitelisting. Yeah, but it's Dude. per website, isn't it? Not like per... You can't really do it for YouTube because YouTube's URL code is metrically fucked. Well, says Mel says... Uh, oh. Mel says, no, I've whitelisted your channel. So it is possible. But how? Like, YouTube is... You listen, listen, it buddy. It's, it's not you my. Can't it's, do that. Listen, it's not my fault that Mel is smarter than you and somehow figured it out. You know, I mean, after all, she is our Otacon. So, extensions there you go. Mel says extensions for YouTube for YouTube pages for a specific channel because you can't. The only way I know how to do that. Oh, then, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Add, like, Adblock is an extension. So Mel just says just no. Not just smart Adblock. enough to tell the difference between a YouTube in general and a YouTube user in general. So yeah. Mel says yeah. <laughs> so you have to unblock YouTube specifically rather than just yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so in any case, uh, yes. So we found out about this because it was apparently leaked by an IGN ad. And um, I think, what, like a day, not even a day after, like maybe a couple of hours later, like later in the day, Blizzard was like, yeah, by the way, we're, you know, we're releasing this game on May 24th, which honestly, it's one Wait, of those did things. did you say IGN leaked it? Yeah. How many times are they going to leak shit? Is that like their thing? It could be, maybe. Then something to IGN and leak it. What? I'm, I'm, they, their name has been attached to leaks like three times now. I'm trying to remember what else did it. Is it like the it just be official news instead of? Is it leak? like the Gawker media type of thing? You know, where they're like they're becoming Gawker as like just leaking all things. I guess all the things, maybe. You know? I mean, all the Hulk Hogan porn, you know, like. Screw much. press embargoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Gawker sucks. Okay, um, so yeah, I mean, other than that, I think that's pretty much it on Overwatch. Hopefully, I can get into the close beta. That would be nice, you know. I did get into the technical alpha for Heroes of the Storm, and that was nice, even though I had a potato of a computer, so it wasn't really running that well, but it would be nice, Blizzard, if I could, you know, derp derp Maybe send me a copy, too. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Um, and yeah, you know, more, more news. Actually, this is kind of sad news for some people. Um, Fable Legends has been canceled. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of people are down about it. I honestly didn't even know. I thought Fable Legends already came out like a couple, like a year ago or something, but apparently not. And Shro, how do you feel about this? Yeah, I'm one of the ones that feels kind of strongly about it because, um, well, for starters, I have to feel something for the developers because. You know, not only are they getting their main project shut down, which is already a devastating thing to happen to you, um, but I guess in the same action, um, Microsoft is also throwing on the table this idea of maybe sh pretty much almost guaranteeing shutting down the Lion's Head, Lionhead Studio outright. Um, but since they're UK based, there are some laws about doing such a rapid shutdown that gives, you know, forces the ownership to give them, I think it's 30 days or 60 days or something to mm -hmm. go through proper channel discussions, paperwork, and basically give people time to find new jobs before they just like suddenly all get fired. Um, so that's like already devastating, but um, Fable Legends explored this really interesting idea that um gaming hasn't really seen yet at least not in a more public light um i think there's probably an indie game somewhere out there that nobody really knows that does it but board games and card games have done it and that's the idea of hitting a group of players against a single player in kind of a like party of players versus the dungeon master role like dungeons and dragons or similar RPG games, pen and papers, um, and even a lot, as I said, a lot of board games, Pandemic, um, there's a good, couple good zombie games that do it. Hell, even Left 4 Dead sort of does it um, in the idea that it's the party of players versus the, quote, AI director uh, of the, the game that is kind of like a 
fifth person directing zombies at you. Um, yeah, that's true. And basically, I mean, what it's doing is just, it's bringing it in. It was bringing it into like a mainstream audience. This kind of like this kind of mechanic of the dungeon master. Yep. To, um, and yeah, you could as you, you could saying. be as a player you could sign up to be on either side of that that fence and between games you could even switch sides like when you got the game you didn't have to like permanently be the villain character or something you had to, you could you know have different roles and switch between them between games um but yeah so they were pioneering this whole idea leaving the normal uh fable rpg concept um and just basically using the fable um ip as a way to pioneer this new idea of you know a single villain against a group of other players and uh, i think it was even cross-platform so like you could have um a pc player or group of pc players versus a dungeon master on a um uh like a playstation 4 or something or vice versa or i i don't know how far it went but yeah they they were actively testing cross-platform stuff and it was supposedly going well and so that's even more stuff like the cross-platform on rocket league is absolutely fantastic so um more cross-platform stuff is always good um but yeah the the fact that a project that was you know looking so promising and had this possibility of like whether even whether it like did well or poorly the fact that such a concept would be pioneered at all in the gaming industry uh or video gaming industry that is uh would have been you know a good stepping stone for the industry industry and developers around and now it's not happening so that's just kind of like a crushing blow it really is a shame honestly because uh I'm one of those people that had no idea what this was about, like Fable Legends. As I said, I thought it had already been released. I thought it was maybe just another Fable game, which honestly, after the first two, I was just kind of done already. Even after the first one, I was just like, okay, whatever. Second one introduced it just enough for me to care about it. But even then, it was just like great concept, poor execution type of thing for me. Um, as most Peter Mott and you games <laughs> kind of tend to go for well, me anyways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Fable Legends, I th at first I thought it was like it was maybe some kind of weird MMO or some kind of weird, I don't know, offshoot. But honestly, like, it's so sad because once I found out what it really was, I was like, dude, this is such a great concept. And it really is a shame that it's getting canceled. Lionhead Studios, I mean, they've been around for a long time, too. They've been they were founded back in like 1996. Um, they, they've had games like, you know, like, uh, black, black and white. I remember those games. I remember seeing the boxes for the PC games in the stores for those really yeah, cool. Yeah, my artwork. best friend had black and white. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's a little sad, you know, it's like a part of gaming history is now, um, is, uh, is dying. PC gaming history, man. We'll see if somebody else gets a chance to take up the mantle, but they'll probably not get the Fable IP, so you'd probably have to rebuild all of the assets, which would be a pain in the ass, frankly. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but, I don't know, hopefully somebody at least takes the idea of the split teams and asymmetric uh, multiplayer. Because, I mean, that's I think that's actually the fancy terminology for it is that it's multiplayer but since it's not even and it's not balanced in the typical sense of the word with like you know x number of players on both sides with the same skills um it, it's yeah asymmetric multiplayer and so you know more more of that would be some really cool beans Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. I know what you mean. And totally random thing as well. Uh, not sure if this is 100% true because I only saw it on my Facebook feed and I didn't even actually click on the link. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But I did see something about Bill Gates wanting to do another Age of Empires game. I saw it like Ooh. sometime today. Which... I could have sworn I just saw him on a Reddit AMA too. 
Yeah, so guy's I mean, been getting around the last week or so. That guy's been getting around for a long time, if you know for, what I mean. Oh, yeah. Shut down that game. Close that studio. <laughs> Talk to the people on the internet. Get the internet to basically lambast me, because we know that's going to happen. Oh, yeah. And now whatever you just said, and I forgot already. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he Apparently, he wants to do another Age of Empires game. Oh, so, Jesus. So that would be interesting. That, that would be um, interesting. Oh, yeah. Ensemble Studios. I mean, they made Age of Empires, fantastic game. Age of Empires 2, freaking amazing game. Age of Empires 3 was pretty damn good too, but you know, I think. So, one of the reasons I know about like Fable Legends one. is extra credits on YouTube, and that's my plug for them. No, they don't pay me. I pay them, in fact. Mm -hmm. um, but I love them so much, I'll plug them. Um, but they did a promotional thing with Age of Empires um, talking about the Punic Wars. Ooh. That the Age of Empires is partially based off of. So, that would be cool, yeah, to see another Age of Empires game. Awesome. Nice. We might get more extra credit stuff out of it, too. There you go. And in other news, also, I think Dude had something he wanted to share with us concerning oh, God, a particular yes. game. Okay. So... I don't know how much I should probably say, because spoilers are a big thing about this particular game. Undertale is have a, getting a pretty big fan-made sequel to it. It's called Overtale. I grew up because there's like 20 billion other games called that, but this particular one has a lot of dev work going into it, and I've listen to composing i've listened to the composed stuff the songs i mean uh, the songs are fucking beautiful oh my god the and honestly, artwork the music, is fantastic yeah man. and the music in undertale was amazing too so I know. if you want to make a sequel did they to win it, that award for indie soundtrack or did somebody else win that i don't know for 2015 i don't know i wasn't really following that but yeah there's a lot of prettiness going on here and i'm just going to link it for those who may not have seen it yet all right um, sounds good yeah i did have a quick look at it earlier today and uh, i did see they had like the soundtrack on there they had a lot of like kind of concept art assets and everything and mm -hmm. they, yeah it definitely seems like a legit project oh yeah so i'm really excited really for this out. but i'm taking it with a grain of salt because i've seen big projects like this die well, I mean, we and were just really talking about one, right? Happen, like, I mean, yeah. Fable Legends is yeah, a big project like, that just died. I mean, like, big fan projects. Project. Like, Sonic 2 HD was a big fan project, and that fizzled out due to internal drama. I'm oh hoping this one does not. I'm really hoping this one does not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, the thing is with those kind of fan projects, too, is, like, so much stuff can happen, not only internally, but also from, like, the original developers. Like, mm. they can be all, like... Season this We're shutting you down here. right now. Exactly. So, yeah, it's 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 tough. Thankfully, this one has the oh, wow, developer's the blessing. Great. And yeah, the developer know the Toby Fox, the maker of Undertale, knows about this game, so he's allowing it. I would say, didn't he like basically indirectly endorse it? Yeah, I think he did. Oh, so that bodes well for them then. Um, we should be getting a demo of this game either the end of this month, March, or the end of, or sometime next month. Oh, awesome! That's actually pretty soon. Uh, oh yeah. Huh? How about that? That is pretty awesome. Anything else that uh, anyone wanted to share as far as like what whatever is going on in the gaming world? Well, I do actually now have to provide a correction for myself because I, I thought I was getting it wrong, and I went and looked it up. The promotional extra history from Extra Credits uh, series was actually from uh, the Creative Assembly guys that made Total War Rome 2, um, not Age oh. of Empires. But they have done things with Age of Empires stuff and the history involved in that, as well as talked about the some of the really awesome and cool things that Age of Empires does as a game. Um, because that's what Extra Credits does. They talk about game development and all that sorts of cool things. So I'm like, I'm going to put that firmly in the category of I was half correct. 
can't judge me. I'm judging you. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there you go. Now for this. <laughs> Brian. Awesome. <laughs> sure fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. So for this week, you know, what we're going to be trying to do is every week we're going to pick a post from the forums that we would like to, you know, just bring a little bit of attention to. Kind of give them props for something they might have done, you know, contributed to the community. Contributed it. it. So, exactly. <laughs> See, I didn't roll my R's that time. Like shadows of Mordor. In any case, uh, this week, I would like to highlight a forum post by Squall. Uh, if everybody doesn't know Squall, then Squall is this really cool Canadian guy who, you know, I'm Canadian too, but he's also Canadian. Bye. He's also cool. But in any case, um, anyways, what it is, it's a post about Black Desert Online. So it's a game that a lot of us are looking into. We really want to um, kind of try it out, figure it out, see what it's all about. And he basically goes down and explains a lot of things about what it is and, you know, what you can get out of this game and if there are any similarities to any other types of games that are kind of in the same genre. So definitely check out this post if you are interested at all uh, in Black Desert Online, the video game, which is coming out. It came out when? Like a couple of weeks It's already out. It yeah, it came out like a week ago. Last Friday, basically. Mm hmm. Yeah, so it came out like a week ago. There's two versions you can get. There's the one for $29.99 and the other one that is. I think it's like about fifty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety nine. Check it out on their official websites. Wait, Philippines has it blocked? What? Sorry, what is Mel saying? Uh, something is blocked in her country. The Philippines oh, probably has the game is... blocked. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, go check out the um the posts available there. So apparently Mel is having some kind of problems like accessing something. I'm not sure what. Uh, no, 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 the no. standalone character Black. creator for Black yeah. Black Desert Online, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just the website. Yeah, no, apparently, yeah. I, I guess, like, YouTube can country lock things, and a lot of other games actually can country lock things. So I guess, uh... Yes, no Black Desert Online at the moment if you're in the Philippines. That's kind of that's kind oh, of that a bummer. Could, that is that cool. That is a bummer. Yeah. Hmm. Which is even stranger because... No, is Black Desert Korean? Yes? No? I don't remember. I it, I'm pretty sure it's know. some East Asian um, origination because the, the, it got ported to the U.S. That's what this all is about. I, I mean... It's been in yeah no it was Korean. It's sometimes been in Korea you can yes yeah, so, so sometimes you can kind of tell by the art style like you can totally tell Guild Wars Two is totally like a um like sort of like an East Eastern Asian type of developed game just by the art style. Black Desert Online it's got a little bit of both so it's it's hard to tell for me. Yeah, it looks fucking pretty though. It does look it looks great honestly. It, yeah, it's very pretty, and it's well optimized from what people are saying, too, that even a kind of crappy computer can run it in super pretty mode. Well, there you go. Yeah, that might be a while before potatoes can do that. <laughs> this is true. Or probably never for potatoes. Yeah. Mm. Hey, potatoes can power GLaDOS. That was totally, you know, a scientifically based reality. Actually, yeah, right. Sure. It was. It really was. That'd be a really good potato, though. Like fresh from the, fresh it's, from the earth. There's a uh, wonderful GMO potato, hmm. made exclusively for powering supercomputers. That was a pretty cool. tiny computer. And um, you know what? Before we sign off, I did want to also mention if there was anything. We have. There's a couple of things that's going to be happening in the community. I know. Uh, Shro posted like an update on the community forums, not on the forums, but uh, sorry, on the main page. So if anybody hasn't 
kind of checked that out yet because it's kind of like right there in your face, definitely just give it a read. Uh, it mentions a couple of things about the podcast and then a couple of things also kind of coming down in the pipeline. Uh, is there anything, though, you would like to add, Shro, to that? Um, Not in the immediate time frame, really. I, I mean, I say it there, but uh, we will eventually get to have some more kind of community-wide meetings in the semi-near future as we get some other stuff finalized. Which is always good, yeah. Um, but uh, I know some of you have already heard, I've been plugging away in the background on some of the website pages. Their alpha drafts are already done. Um, other pages, of course, still need work. Um, and then the council will get to look over those as they happen. So, yeah, things are happening. It's just happening in the background and awesome. whatnot. So. But, at, you know, at least the podcasts are rolling out as clear as day. Well, oh, I mean, the the be. one podcast that we've recorded so far, which is this one right here. Right. So Yes, that, that exactly. one podcast. <laughs> They're wink, rolling out like wink. pancakes. We can't do that. We like don't have enough gaming news to fill it out like pancakes. <laughs> all the pancakes. All the now pancakes. I'm just yeah. thinking of rolling pancakes down the street or something or like throwing it like a frisbee <laughs> oh man roll it up about... like a blunt and eat it i was talking yeah i was thinking about <laughs> roll rolling like up something else yeah you, you know you're not supposed to eat the blunt right says like, that's you bad for you <laughs> uh it's all natural anyways i'm sure he'll be fine next Let's morning see, he wakes you're up you're doing he's like special a... <laughs> brownies wrong <laughs> that's not how you do it dude it's special brownies for when you t you forget to put the the weed in the brownies. I'm just gonna <laughs> eat it and then shove a brownie in my mouth and chew at the same oh, time. Oh man! <laughs> All the good times. In you any hear case, Insomniacs Anonymous do not endorse drug use. Definitely not. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> definitely not. We don't endorse it, but we're not gonna tell you what to do with it either way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man! So if you're you somehow come across this podcast randomly not through our regular website then definitely check us out on insomniacs-anonymous.com check out our forums you know check out dude runs let's play videos all the videos and um yeah you know just join in have some fun join us in game it's always good times with the ia people so other than that I would like to know if there are anything you guys would like to plug as far as anything you're working on. Did you just You'd say like snow? snow? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to snow. I'm glad I'm not the only one that heard that. <laughs> I would like to snow, you guys. That that well, okay. does sound like a drug reference. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to Antarctica and Everybody get this over looks, with. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm snow Guys, I, I really think we should snow each other right now. Oh God! Oh, my. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out the Taylor song again. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh man! Oh yeah! As for uh, things to plug, I am a YouTuber on the YouTubes and a Twitch stream. Sometimes you can find me on both of those places. Under the name D O O D, run does things. Dude, run does things. There you go. And honestly, man, like, dude, run has been putting out videos consistently, and they are so many videos. They mm. are entertaining as fuck. So definitely check them out. Uh, how about you, Shro? Where can we find you? Um, insomniacs-anonymous.com is probably a good place to start, but, um, you can also find me at, uh, through the Steam profile communities, uh, the real Schrodinger's cat. Um, so I guess if you're on Steam, you can try that too. There you go. But, yeah, other than that, I'm not that, not that hard to track down. <laughs> that's usually not a good thing anyways uh so mel <laughs> <laughs> so mel mel says um that she wants people to share your sad in games stories with her so also hopes and dreams of games you want to make someday so definitely if you guys want to do that you know post it on the forums let her know 
I'm assuming that's I feel like where there should be mani- maniacal laughter in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one has you covered. Thank you. Wow. And I feel you like can... we should be charging for that laugh. <laughs> That'll be twenty five dollars. Well, there you go. God, the copyrights these days. All the copyrights, yo. <laughs> you yeah, can I find me sense. on. You can find me on Twitter. Obviously, under Brian Guitar Dude, that's Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, Guitar Dude. I usually post random stuff on there, you know, nothing really, some gaming related stuff, but it's mostly random. So if you want to stalk me, stalk me on there. That's always fun. Is this where we say um, go cry, emo kid? Basically, yes, that's where the emo (laughs) kid goes to cry. (laughs) All the crying. I love you, Brian. All the goods, all the goods. I love you too, Shro. All right, so guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for being here. On um, behalf of myself, Shro, Dude Run, and Mel, thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see you again next week. And we are the Insomniacs, and we are now freaking anonymous. I really want, like, I really want, like, a pop brownie now, I swear. I don't... I think we need to have I'm not even pop sure brownies that and come out with a new outro. Despite the fact that I look like a permanently a high dope up hippie. <laughs>